Good afternoon. My name is Bruce Gagnon. I live in Bath. A recent Fortune magazine article about General Dynamics is CEO Phoebe Novakovic, who made $21 million last year, had a telling quote from a General Dynamics company consultant that read, quote, Boeing makes planes, Raytheon makes missiles, General Dynamics makes money, unquote. The Providence, Rhode Island Journal reported in November that General Dynamics between the years of 2009 and 2016 bought back $12.9 billion of its own stock. This drove up General Dynamics market value and increased executive compensation packages. The article quoted William Lazonic, an economist at UMass Lowell, an expert on stock buybacks, saying, quote, I think as taxpayers, we're being taken for fools. At a minimum, I would have a rule saying, you're not getting any subsidies if you're doing buybacks. You're showing us you don't need the money, unquote. The same article says that General Dynamics has been hitting up Rhode Island and Connecticut as well as Maine for corporate subsidies. <clears throat> In fact, General Dynamics just recently has a new request into Connecticut for $150 million more in subsidies. Currently, we are hearing that General Dynamics is telling some Maine leg state legislators that they need more money to train young workers. But it should be noted that the federal contract that General Dynamics signs with the Navy to build ships at BIW covers all of their costs. Workers pay, materials, equipment, corporate profits, and even the training of the workforce. And we've just heard from this other gentleman that the contract even covers our state taxes. General Dynamics would never have uh, bought BIW if it did not make money. In fact, a good por portion of the $200 million that Maine gave General Dynamics since 2017 went for the modernization and the mechanization of the shipyard. So the state actually helped pay General Dynamics to reduce jobs at Bath Ironworks. The state legislature helped pay for the reduction of jobs at Bath Ironworks. Maine has many human and uh, infrastructure needs that will not be funded uh, this year by this legislature. You all know those stories. Sadly, many Democrats in the state legislature who opposed Trump's recent federal corporate tax cut failed to see the contradiction as they now support LD 1781. But we see the contradiction and won't forget it. I want to make one comment about Mississippi. One hurricane wipes out angles. The Navy does not want to rely on just one shipyard. It can't afford it. I oppose this corporate welfare bill. I urge the committee and the entire legislature to say no to General Dynamics. The public should let their state legislators know how they feel about this bill. Thank you very much. Thanks. Senator Dow, Representative Tipping, and members of the Joint Committee on Taxation. I am Jerry Preventure, and I live in Bath. My oral testimony will be brief, and my written statement will provide additional details for each point that I make. I ask you to vote ought not to pass on LD 1781 for three reasons. There is no transparency, which you've heard some ref uh, refer uh, references to earlier. Beyond statements requesting another $60 million in tax breaks, General Dynamics has provided no evidence that they actually need the money. Maine people don't need proprietary information from BIW, but simple profit and loss financial statements would help show the extent of their need. There's no evaluation. The state has no program or substantive data showing that the intent of past tax legislation relative to BIW has produced the desired results for the state or Maine people over the past 20 years. There's no plan B. For 20 years we've heard and continue to hear concerns about BIW going away. Members of the legislature say they don't want to be the cause of BIW. 
excuse me, of BIW closing. If there is so much fear about the loss of BIW, why is there no plan B for the last 20 years? Why isn't there a plan B? Again, I would refer you to my written statement for more details on each of these three points. Specifically, on transparency, I make some points about competitiveness and also on the plan B. What are some of the options under a plan B? Thank you for your time and consideration. I ask you to vote ought not to pass on LD 1781. Thank you for your testimony. Any questions from the committee? Seeing none, we thank you. And uh, Lisa?